Good afternoon. Two people are still being questioned by police this lunchtime over the death of a woman who was shot dead at a pub in Merseyside on Christmas Eve. 26-year-old L. Edwards died and four others were injured in the shooting. Kelly Foran is at the scene in Wallasey and Kelly, the man and woman arrested are still in custody. Yes, they're still being questioned. It was late yesterday evening when the police say that they arrested two people, a 30-year-old man on suspicion of murder and attempted murder, and a 19-year-old woman on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. Now, they're from the Tranmere and Rock Ferry areas, just four miles from here, a few miles from this pub where Elle Edwards was fatally shot. And they're still... A very real and raw sense of shock here in Wallasey today. The people that I've spoken to say it is normally a very quiet village. The police are still questioning those people. There are still road closures in place here. This pub is still cordoned off while they try to figure out how and why a 26-year-old was murdered on Christmas Eve. Kelly, thank you. A 23-year-old man has died after being stabbed on the dance floor of a nightclub in Birmingham. It happened late last night at the Crane Club in the Digbeth area of the city. No one has yet been arrested. In other news, Christmas strikes by network rail workers have come to an end. Passengers, though, are still being warned to expect delays over the festive period with more strikes planned. A 24-hour walkout guide by cross-country train staff will run into this evening. More than 50 people have now died in a snowstorm in the US, which left people stranded in cars and homes without power. The city of Buffalo, one of the worst hit areas, has recorded at least 28 victims. More snow is expected to fall in some areas of western New York today. A new TV advert aimed at encouraging people to save energy over the winter has been released by the government today. In 30 seconds, you can turn a boiler flow temperature down here or switch these off there. Change this. It's part of a public information campaign which began earlier this month, aimed at helping people to cut their bills and reduce the pressure on the energy network. A plan for a similar campaign earlier this year was scrapped after critics said it was too much like a nanny state. And that's it. Nina Hussain will be back with the evening news at five past seven. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Goodbye. <laughs>